Shalom and welcome to our Your Arms of Israel video club. It's so wonderful to have you with us. We thank Yahweh, we praise Yahweh for the opportunity that he has given us to come into your homes, to come into your residence, to come into your place of business, to bring to you the word of Yahweh. You know, we're as excited about the word as we are as the day we were when we first got saved. And salvation is what it's all about. But not only salvation and eternal life and forgiveness of sins, which is what Yeshua came to give us, but also to rekindle our memory, to shake us, and to wake us up to remember that if we go back many, many generations, that our forefathers and our parents were at one time members of the nation of Israel. And so now through the quickening move of the Ruach HaKodesh, in these last days, we remember that we are part of the nation of Israel as our minds and our hearts and our spirits are kindled through the study of the word of Yahweh. Oh, man. In Yochanan, John, the Besorah Gospel of John, chapter 10 and verse number 16, it reads as follows. Yahshua said, other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, meaning which are not of the Jewish fold. Them I must bring in. He was sent to bring in that fold as well. And then when that other fold comes in, in other words, Yeshua had two folds, they will hear my voice and there will be one fold and one shepherd. So Yeshua came to take two existing folds of Israel and to make them into one fold in fulfillment of the prophet Yechezkel chapter 37. So he told the Jewish leaders, regardless of what you desire, my father's desire is to bring in the other fold of Israel scattered in the nations, wandering the nations, and I will bring that fold together with the remnant of this fold, meaning Jewish Israel or believers, and I will bring them together and make them one in my hand. Notice there's no religion, there's no denomination, there's no theology that can bring both houses together. The children of Israel who are living, wandering, and acting like Gentiles in the nations, that fold is now reclaiming their heritage, reclaiming their roots, becoming one with the people of Israel, Jewish Israel, who know they're Jewish, but now have also come to know their Messiah. He brings these two folds together. And look here in verse 17, Yahshua says, Therefore, does my father Abba love me? Yahweh, Abba, Yahweh loves Yeshua, because I lay down my chayim, my life, that I may take it up again. So Yeshua is saying, not only tells us what he came to do to bring these two folds together, he even tells us how he's going to do it by laying down his life to bring in both folds. And the Father loves Yeshua because Yeshua is obedient to bring together the restoration and the regathering of both houses of Israel. And that's why we're here today as two houses celebrating Rosh Chodesh, Shabbat, Moedim, in our beautiful new Herzl Moed and Conference Center. And we want to thank every one of you who has sowed into this project, who has sowed into this ministry, who has seen the need for a conference hall, a Moed hall, for anyone in the world who desires to join us free of charge for the Moedim, the feasts, and the Shabbats. If you want to come to Miami Beach, you're our partners. We'll take care of you. You're welcome to come in and have a chavurah with us and break bread with us, and it won't cost you a penny. And we thank you for seeing the vision so that both houses of Israel will not perish in the nations. We're coming to you today from the Herzl Moed, the brand new Herzl Moed and Conference Hall. But now it's time to leave you and take you across the street, right across our parking lot, to the main sanctuary of the Miami Beach Israel Revival, Ne Yahshua Synagogue, home of the Miami Beach Israel Revival. Thank you to that about, and I'm wishing you, yours, your loved ones, and your extended family, because you're our extended family, a hearty Shabbat Shalom. But worship him, give him your everything, because he is your everything. I know I don't surprise you, you've known me from the start. My 
our failures and successes. Oh, yeah, you've seen them all. With all my good intentions, still I stumble now and then. But you remain just like you've always been. Oh, boy. 